What got you interested in going to China in the first place? I figured I would go backpacking through China. Well, that thought kind of scared the living holy whatever out of uh, my parents. And so I started looking around for a tour group that would allow me to kind of explore freely uh, in China, uh, but also still have the support structure needed to keep people back home from freaking out. Yeah. And so I did some searching and I stumbled across you guys. I was just looking for tour groups. I was like, all right, I'll check these guys out. I don't know what they're about. All I saw was AFA. I had my fears, I had my... You can see, you're a little bit worried. You, you were telling me, now, let's be honest here. You're a little bit worried about the mail order bride syndrome, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, as we were talking in length about it, um, I, you know, I grew up hearing all these horror stories about mail order brides, especially when I was in the military. So when I saw you guys at first, I thought you guys fell into that category. And I looked around at other places. The closest thing to what you guys offered with another agency, you were pretty much jam packed with move, go here, solely sightseeing, no social interaction with women, just going and seeing the big landmarks. So, and that was like $5,000. A 10 day trip with AFA costs you, I think it's like $2,400. You're right around there. And we've uh, been around for 22 years and we have an excellent record. And you did the research um, as far as that goes, but you also did a lot of other research too. I mean, you've called and talked with all the different staff members. Well, I pretty much know about 90% of all the staff here at AFA by first name. So. You were just in China for two months, okay? But you really went more just to experience China and not even with the idea of meeting women so much in mind, yet that was like a byproduct for you of the tour. But um, did you see the possibilities? People in America do crazy, crazy things to try to find a girlfriend or a boyfriend, yet we're not willing to take a vacation to exotic land, go goof off, have fun with uh, a bunch of great guys, and maybe find the love of your life. And guys, that's what I've been trying to say for many, many years. And we even have the uh, printout that shows when you compare our tours to like Expedia and these other ones that don't offer all the other services, um, the logistics and the opportunity to meet all the women and all that. Um, and you compare the prices, our tours are still less expensive. And so, you know, when I talk about going on one of our group tours, I've always said that, that worst case scenario, is you're going to have a great vacation. You're going to have a blast, right? And then, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, a group of us guys, we would go figure out something to do for the day. And we'd, you know, create a little mischief along the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, because if you're not dating, what's nice about these tours is if you're not out on a date, which a lot of the guys are, but if you're not, then you would go out with some of the other guys and you would do something. And then they'd go off on their dates and things like that. So there's a support group the whole time you're there. And it's a blast. And you're probably still in touch with some of the guys from that tour, I imagine. It's not like we just open the doors and let anybody in off the streets. Um, it's not like that at all. The staff does a lot of work to make these events happen and make them nice. Um, you know, they, they register all the women coming in. They're screening those women when they get there. They're making sure that who's there is supposed to be there, both men and women. Um, and so they do a great job of that. And that takes a long time to put all that together. The staff, they know the women. Um, careful, Amy, all those women, they know these women. And so when they're inviting the women, they know who they're inviting. They know who's coming as far as the guys. And they're trying to make sure that it's matching, you know, the demos, the demographics of the, of the group. And, um, you know, that they're not inviting someone that there may be a problem with. Um, and just like we do sometimes with the men, who there's men that we haven't let on the tours because of issues. I don't think the women that attend these socials get enough credit because it's not easy for them either. There's many more women than there are men at these events. And, you know, the women kind of put themselves out there a little bit to come to these events in the hopes of finding someone special. You'll see guys writing things on the internet about, oh, well, these women just are this or just that. And it's just so insensitive and, and so wrong for people to do that, you know, and these are almost always people have never been there um, and never experienced it. I mean, it is about putting yourself out there, putting yourself in a situation to be successful. And that's what we do. Now, whether or not you are ultimately successful is going to be entirely up to you. It's not going to happen by writing letters. It's not going to be happen by doing chat, right? It's just not. I mean, we know that. And we know that a large percentage of you guys are never going to get on that plane and go over. And that's sad. 
because Chad, he went over. He had a blast. He's still alive, right? You survived all this stuff. And as this little sign says here, guys, love is meant to be an adventure, right? I saw this, and I just had to get it because that really sums up what we've been doing for 22 years. Love is meant to be an adventure, right? You know, but you got to go out and make that adventure happen. You really do. And so, you know, I'm so glad that Chad stepped in today. So, um, so guys, you know, I really appreciate it, Chad. Thank you so much for coming in today and talking and sharing your experiences. And I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of him. And so maybe when he comes back from the Philippines, he can come back and you can compare and trust, contrast China with the Philippines and let us know what you think, okay? Most definitely. All right. Well, thank All you right. so much. Not appreciate problem. it. Thank you.